Our sign language interpreter for tonight is Anne Wangeshi. And remember, we would love to hear from you. You can send us your comments on our social media pages. That's KBC Channel 1 on Instagram, Facebook, and also on Twitter. You could also send me a message on my social media pages at Cynthia Nyamai. Now, business was paralyzed in Narok town for the better part of Thursday after residents took to the streets to protest the spike in insecurity cases in the cosmopolitan town. The latest incident is the murder of a 29-year-old land surveyor Dixon in Kansala last night by a gang reportedly terrorizing residents in the town. It is believed that Kansai's death was due to a land tussle. Frederick Parasoya with the details. <laughs> Ugly scenes punctuated parts of Narok town on Thursday. <laughs> Angry mob bed for the blood of one of the suspects believed to be a man, the killers of a local land surveyor, Dixon Kamasia. The crowd could not be contained and the police had to use tear gas. The suspect was dragged to a police vehicle for his safety. Even as the charged crowd persisted in pouring their anger on him. Motorists plying along the busy road that connects Kisi and Nairobi counties were forced to wait for hours before the police contained the situation. The residents through the narrow county peace chairman Joshua Kaputa expressed their frustration saying that Dixon's mother is one among the many lives that have been lost at the hands of the gang. And as a peace ambassador, I cannot be speaking about peace while our people are being killed. I cannot speak about peace while the young people are being killed. And I'm saying that Kenyans are important, and especially the youth. Those are the people that are being killed. We want to request the, the government to come out clearly and save the lives of people. Special. Traders and border border operators decried insecurity in the town. That has since forced most of them to close their businesses as early as 8 p.m. We are going to come together and sanitize our town because we need security Now security yeah, what we, we, we don't want to buy the security for Narok County residents. Narok County Commissioner Isaac Masinde speaking on the phone called upon the residents to maintain calm. Ujumbe wangu kwa wanainji ni kwamba wapeane police na fas. DCI haedre na uchunguzi ili tuweza kupata wale watu ambao wali uwa maremu. Masinde further refuted claims that they have effected the curfew, saying they have intensified security operations in the county. Security operators will hold a baraza with the public tomorrow in Arok Town. Parsai Frederick, Prime Edition.